similar intro because this is what psychosis really feels like part two and why am i making part two well because you enjoyed part one so much it was your favorite video i think now it's on about nine thousand views whereas the others have got about 12. so i'm just going to carry on maybe be a bit more descriptive because I've had some thoughts since and I've seen you guys in the comments ask some more specific questions around psychosis like do you know you're in it um, why do others not talk about it like as much as you do uh, to answer that question it's because I want to try and help as many people like as I can so that being people that are going through psychosis people that are caring for those going through it and also people that will be in future caring for those if they're studying psychology or whatever at the moment. So, I started the last video by saying it's a bit like being charged on caffeine or even cocaine thrown in there as well. And I'm going to start there again because that's true. And as I sat down and thought about this more recently, I feel like it's probably the best example that someone not that hasn't been for it before can relate to so imagine you've had like i've had like three double espressos and you just had a bit too much and you get that agitatedness you get that like weakness in your fingers but at the same time you feel a bit powerful you, you might be at work and like you feel like in that flow state like switched on things are coming to you or you, you're doing things when there isn't that barrier to thinking about them everything's just sharper and you can take that sense of like powerfulness and alertness and really it's quite a close feeling but you have this realization moment or certainly I did in psychosis where I had this it felt like an understanding so it was kind of like when you have a realization moment like meditation and you realize something and you want to do something about it and that's where I'll answer, that, answer the question of do you know you're ever in it and you don't you just feel like different because you've had a different thought to someone else or what the general population has had and what you've unpicked in these deep thoughts is crucial to what you want to do or how you're acting and the things you want to do to the world or like for me it was better in the world and for years and up to my point of this realization moment i'll call it i felt trapped and anxious and, and not quite where i wanted to get to because in my mind there was this barrier and this barrier was artificial and um, it was my perspective on the world so i wanted to eradicate what may have caused me to feel like this and others to also maybe feel like that i felt like people couldn't truly be happy in the world that we live in and it was this obstacle that needed to be gotten rid of and at the time i thought that was we're living in the matrix we're being controlled by the corporate elite and there's only so much that we can do to be happy we're we're trapped we're not truly free and I don't think that that's right now. Um, so the things I was doing was like trying to go live on Instagram and Facebook and amongst other things. But I also thought that the this corporate elite that caused this barrier were out to get me. So that was, I had a lot of paranoia. I'd shut the curtains, shut the blinds, wouldn't want them to find me, put my hood up because what I was about to do was expose them. So yeah, going live on Instagram, socials, Facebook, whatever to try and spread this message of my realization to other people so they'd be aware of it maybe conscious of it or and me personally i knew that this was the the best thing i could do to spread the message to as many people as possible and i think that's why you see people in like the high street or they go up on stage and they're speaking their mind and that they feel like this god or jesus like figure or some sort of a spiritual figure trying to spread this message and to lead on from that i never really noticed myself coming out of psychosis i may have been heavily dosed up on medication so i was my actions were maybe more lethargic i seemed more calm but my thoughts were still there 
So I may not have been acting a certain way. I may not have been erratic or talking like erratic and fully energized and pacing it around the streets or whatever, or in hospital. But those thoughts were still in my brain even after I was discharged. And it was only when I had psychology and maybe like five or six sessions in, a few months after I was discharged, I could get rid of this block that was trapping me. And for me, those things weren't true. The, those conspiracy-like thoughts, it was actually my perception of the world through my upbringing and this pressure that I'd put on myself. And when we un unstuck that and I picked that from the psychology sessions and when that went away, my perspective and view on the whole world changed. I felt lighter, I felt freer, and I felt exactly where I wanted to get to. So I'm gonna leave that there. Please ask questions in the comments because I, I like them, I like your feedback, and it gives me content to make the next videos about, and I know that it's what you guys wanna see. Thanks for watching. Please support the channel. It would do the algorithm wonders if you like and subscribe. Have a good day and speak to you guys soon.